Wonderful. Here's our first segment today. And the title of the article is from BEZ. And I was really, when I first looked at it, it was really kind of, I'm like, oh my God, this seems going to be a great story. I'm a... I'm about a 50-50 on this one in particular, but let's let's uh, let's go into it. Let's get into it. Here's the title. Mayor Lightfoot says police tortured at least 100 black Chicagoans. But our law department tells a different story. This basically has to do with um, the fact that the mayor, when she was running... And head of the police accountability task force says, oh yeah, Birds tortured over 100 people. Him and his men did it. And yeah, it actually happened. And yeah, no problem. It's absolutely true. And then when she gets in the office, everything's a flip-flop, right? Because that's what politicians do. They flip-flop and Mayor Lightfoot is an expert at flip-flopping. The only thing she might be better at actually is pointing fingers at others. So in this article, and this is where I'm about 50-50 on it, this article was fed to... Um, BEZ and uh, Chip Mitchell, I believe, is the one who did this article, wrote it. I'm sure it was fed to him by the civil rights lawyers that are suing um, the city right now on behalf of one plaintiff named James Gibson, who did many, many years, I think 25, 30 years, got out, got a certificate, uh, got a certificate of innocence from the governor, um, and he's suing for all the time he did for no reason and for the torture. And... And the largest settlement to date related to Birds and all of his misdeeds and all his cronies' misdeeds has been $10.2 million. Gibson is suing for 65. Of course, it is in the it is in the um, it's in the job description for city lawyers to defend the city from things. So yes, um, <laughs> they're saying. No, it never happened. Gibson never happened. It never happened to Gibson. And it's never happening. And there's four other cases where they're saying, oh, it didn't. Four or five other cases. It never happened. And they're basically downplaying all of the Burge torture allegations and four or five specific ones. Now, the reason I'm 50-50 on this one is that that's sort of their job. But at the same time, the flip-flop on this is that a Mayor Lightfoot, if you know what happened, did, are any of these credible? Then get to a settlement agreement and get it over with. And don't have your lawyers going into court and saying, hey, they didn't do it. This is the, Nothing like this ever happened. This is phony. So that's where we get the problem. She wants the political cr cred, right, for saying it during the campaign. And she wants the progressive lefty vote for saying it. But when it comes down to action and decisions, not so much. So let's get to a couple quotes from the article. Um, and in, in a lawsuit brought by Anthony Jakes, Lightfoot administration denied a claim that members of the Chicago Police Department during the Burge era routinely manufactured evidence against innocent people by coercing, manipulating, threatening, pressuring, and often and offering inducements to suspects and witnesses. I'm going to comment, but I want to get to a second one. You got to look at the language, right? June 3rd, 2020, in a lawsuit brought by Arnold Day, Lightfoot administration denied that it was common or for suspects interrogated by the Chicago Police Department during the Burge era to falsely confess under extreme duress and after suffering abuse to, to committed crimes to which they had no connection or for which there was scant evidence suggests they were involved. The city also denied that the CPD had a widespread practice of coercing suspects using physical and psychological evidence. Now... Are the statements as they are here in, in contradict Mayor Lightfoot's campaign promises and what she said as Police Accountability Task Force? As these are worded, I don't think so. I think the civil rights lawyers are trying to pull a fast one. Chip Mitchell kind of bought it, and that, that was a mistake. And I, I like a lot of the lawyers, but they're trying to pull a fast one. So let's get to the language. Members of the Chicago Police Department during the Burge era, are the, all the members, some members, just the members that worked for Burge? No, they're applying to the entire department. Routinely manufactured evidence against innocent people by coercing, right? Who did that? The entire department? Is that what we're saying? The entire department, every member of the department did that. Is that what you're saying? That's what it makes them seem like they're pushing. And of course, 
the city lawyers are going to push back on that, and that isn't reflective of the truth. Um, I, it'd be fine if you had evidence. They don't have evidence of that. You want to rip what the bird, what the Burge and Burge and his cronies did? That's fine. But this is trying to push those allegations to the entire department, and that's just it's just wrong. In the second quote. Life and administration denied that it was common for a suspect interrogated by the Chicago Police Department during the Beards era to falsely confess under extreme duress. Okay, once again, Burge era was 20 years. And what they're saying is every suspect, every suspect, it was routine or common. Mm, for the entire department, department-wide, they all did it? Routinely, commonly? No. No. This, again, is a... Is a is uh, the lawyers trying to pull a fast one past the city lawyers. And of course, they're going to push back on that. I don't really have a problem with that. Chip Mitchell, Chip Mitchell should have pushed back on that against the civil rights lawyers. Like, who are you talking about? Burge and his cronies were on it. The entire department, where's your evidence? It doesn't mean others weren't doing some things that were bad outside of the Burge group, and I'm sure many were. But how many? They don't have numbers. No, that's that's a linguistic trick. This time, the civil rights are try, lawyers are trying to pull. So I don't I don't have any problem with the city lawyers pushing back on that. Let's continue. On a September 6, twenty nineteen, or some, some ah, September six, twenty nineteen, the suit brought by James Gibson, man we talked about earlier, Lightfoot administration denied that it has has been well documented that officers under Burge regularly engaged in torture while interrogating suspects, especially young African-American suspects, in order to solve crimes. Ding, 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 we have a winner. It was well documented. Incredibly so. You know who documented it? Lori Lightfoot, the mayor. So that, that's wrong. And the city, the lawyer in the law department that pushed that, that said that in court, if indeed that's what happened, fired, terminated. And the mayor should get grief. What is she doing? Does she have any idea what's going on in her law department? The answer is no. We have a civil, we have a FOIA suit three and a half, over three years now. Over three years. What has Mayor Life had done to stop it? What has changed in their behavior since that time? No. Let's get to the next one. In March 2nd, 2020 argument, I guess. In closing arguments at the trial of a suit brought by Stanley Rice. If I'm pronouncing that right. An attorney for Lightfoot administration said a witness who testified about torture by Burge-led detectives. I think it's supposed to say witnesses, had no credibility, and that three other witnesses had told fairy tales about being beat up by the defendants. The city had paged Burge-era related torture settlements to all four witnesses. Three of those payouts stemmed from a 2015 reparations ordinance that required each, of, each to have a credible claim of torture or physical abuse. The city council put their stamp of approval on the application for these five of these people, five of these people, that their allegations of torture were indeed credible. And we gave them $100,000 for that. The city did, right? Now the mayor, now Lightfoot's law department is going in and saying, no, they're full of crapola. No, no, that's all fairy tales. Wait a minute. Your city council, who oversees your work, by the way, said... Their allegations are credible. What the hell are you talking about there, fairy tales? Another one, Mayor Lightfoot, get in front of the camera and answer damn questions. Journalists, put it to her. Also, push to find out who this lawyer is, put their name out there, and get them fired. Gone. That duplicitous crap's got to go. Let's go. We have one more. May 7th, 2021. So a recent argument. And a suit brought by Corey Bachelor. Life administration denied the substance of findings and opinions by city officials, federal judges, federal juries, and a special prosecutor and other officials about the Burge-led torture. For example, her administration denied that the CPD Office of Professional Standards Director Gail Shines approved as compelling an OPS investigator's landmark 1990 findings about the torture. The investigator identified 50 instances in which detectives under Burge subjected black suspects to torture and other abuse. Yeah, that, there's been no argument that I've ever seen that that investigation was wrong. And I can't remember their names. I can't remember their names right now. Maybe they're watching. 
I know both those investigators that did this report that Gail Shines approved. That's that investigation. I know them. One of them I had come speak in a class at the University of St. Francis out in Joliet when I was teaching there. And I can't remember either of their names right now. They're escaping me. What is this? Once again, someone put Lori Lightfoot in front of a camera and get her to answer these questions. Get the head of the law department to answer these questions. Find out who this lawyer was and get them fired. This duplicitous crap. So, as I said before, some of this I agree with early on. You, you're not going to get the city's lawyers, the Department of Law, to admit that things were so widespread that the entire department was doing it to, for a 20-year 20 peri period. period. That's going to open them up to lawsuits for every person that went through the system at that point. Ain't happening. That was uh, a failure by Chip Mitchell that that made it into the article without being pushed back. The rest of the stuff, put a camera in Lightfoot's face. Um, BEZ should hear this every day until she answers questions, every day until the um, head of the law department answers questions. The Trib the Sun-Times should have it on the front page every day until she does. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Okay.